Generation 1 Transformer Review Decepticon Kickback Before we get into the review of the actual action figure itself, let's take a look at Kickback's tech spec. Function, espionage. Quote, friend is another word for fool. Kickback's charming but cruelly clever. He makes friends so he can influence them to do his bidding by digging up facts he can hold against them. Humans are particularly susceptible to this Insecticon. In insect mode, he can jump 40 feet for a distance of 0.1 mile, and he can kick a hole in a quarter inch steel. In robot mode, Kickback can fly 30 miles per hour up to 100 miles. He has a submachine gun that fires 300 rounds per minute. Kickback is very vulnerable in insect mode and when flying in high winds. Kickback is rated a 3 in strength, a 9 in intelligence, a 4 in speed, a 4 in endurance, a 7 in rank, a 6 in courage, a 5 in firepower, and an 8 in skill. This gives Kickback an overall rating of 5.8. Okay, now it's time to do the actual review of the Insecticon Kickback's action figure. Before we get started, let's take a look at what you get when you purchase Kickback. Here's the box. It's a small box, you could see. It's almost smaller than my hand and uh, it's one of the smallest boxes Transformer toys came in aside from maybe the mini cons and some of those really small figurines here you say it says Insecticon Kickback it's a picture of Kickbot, Kickback in robot form on the top you have the transformation from Grasshopper into robot on the bottom picture in both forms same with on each side Then on the back, you have a space battle scene. You have the tech spec. And you see you only got one transformer point for him. Okay, let's put the box back. Next, you have the instruction booklet. It was a typical three-color one with the purple, white, and black. Shows where to put the stickers on. This wasn't a full color instruction booklet that say like Optimus Prime would give you. Okay, you also get the tech spec decoder that you would use to read the tech specs. You also get the sticker sheet, which I've already applied the stickers. And you get Kickback's gun. Okay, now for Kickback. Here he is. Zoom in a little bit on him. He's a good looking action figure. I really like him. He looks just like he did on the cartoon. His arms are very poseable. You can move them up and down. Legs extremely poseable. They move both ways. Front and back. From the back you see his wings move. Here's where you'd place the gun. Now this gun, it doesn't have a peg to put into his hand. You actually, if you look, slide it right onto here. And then it's in place. And I think he looks nice. I think he's a good looking toy. He's very small. If you look at my hand, However, if you recall from the cartoon, the Insecticons were short. Okay, he has nice silver, you know, chrome rim, chrome rim, chrome wings. Where that's where they put the rub symbol. Now, his chest actually opens up. It doesn't really serve a purpose, but I know you're not going to be able to see it because of the lighting. But if you were able to read inside there, it says upside down. Takara Company LTD 1980-1983 Japan. So, put that back. Okay, so that's Kickback. 
little Insecticon guy. Looks good from all the sides. The back even has a little detail there. You can see like a circuit going on there. His ears even move very, or antennas move. He's very poseable, very, very flexible. You know, you can make him, he stands nicely. Just very cool toy. All right, let's transform him. First, he's very simple to transform. You turn his head around, put those antennas up a little bit. Put his wings back, turn the arms forward, and then you split the arms apart. And bring out his grasshopper legs. Now you can even push his legs up a bit to give him more of a grasshopper look and you see he this is very nicely posed there and I'll zoom in on this get you a better shot move his ears up or his antenna I keep calling him his ears his antennas up a little bit fantastic he looks awesome really I think he's the best looking of the insecticons he was always my favorite I really liked in the movie, his scenes in the movie. Just looks looks great. Good toy. The only problem with it is it is a grasshopper. And I mean, how much fun is a grasshopper? You can have him jump around, I guess, fly around, kick stuff. But I mean, he's no tank or car or gun. He's a grasshopper. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed my review of Generation 1 Kickback. Please stay tuned for my final thoughts on Kickback and the pros and the cons. Okay, it's time for the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Kickback toy. As far as pros go, I really like, and as you know, this is something I always like, when the Transformer looks like the cartoon. And here, Kickback's Generation 1 toy looks exactly like Kickback on the Generation 1 cartoon. They got this toy absolutely right. That makes me happy. Uh, the toy looks fantastic. The colors look great. The stickers look great. He fits in well. He's the correct height. He's the correct size. Just a good-looking toy. Must have for a collection. I like that Kickback is easy to transform. So many of the Transformers were difficult to transform, and when you did, you felt like you were going to break pieces off them if you pushed something too hard. Well, with Kickback, you don't have to worry about that. It's a well-built toy, and he transforms nicely. Finally, I, about pros, I really like the Kickback kick back stands easily. You don't have to sit there and play with him and have him on a perfectly level surface that has no dust on it, because if there's dust, it'll tip over and fall on its back. Kickback stands nicely no matter where you put him. He's very stable, has a nice distribution of weight. Um, you can have him posed with his, in both forms, grasshopper and robot form. You can have his gun when he's in robot form. He just stands well, nice piece to display. I really like that about him. Now as far as cons go, I don't like his weapon. The way the weapon attaches to the hand, I, I'm a toy lover that likes a hole in the hand and you plug the gun into the hole. This one, it kind of slides onto the hand. I just don't like that setup. It doesn't feel secure to me. And it's like if you bump it with something, it's going to be pointing in the wrong direction type. I don't know. Maybe I'm just picky. And the only other really con that I have with Kickback is that um, he turns into a grasshopper. That's not really even a fun bug. I mean, it's bad enough it doesn't turn into any kind of weapon or tank or plane or car or thing that kids love. I guess some kids like bugs, but I don't know, maybe they like wasps and, and yellow jackets and, and mean bugs, dragonflies, but a grasshopper's kind of weak and friendly, but I don't know, I think he looks awesome, and that's what I'd have to say, my, my overall is get him, I think he's the best looking of the Insecticons, uh, the coolest Insecticon, and uh, I really like this toy. And I thank you once again for listening and watching my review, um, if you want, please subscribe to my YouTube Please become my friend on YouTube. Leave me a comment here on YouTube. I really like interaction from people. 
That's what makes me keep making these videos, so please keep giving it to me. Thank you.